Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello, if you're new, if you are new, be sure to click that subscribe button. It really helps to support me and my channel. Don't forget to comment and like this video too if it's helpful. It really helps YouTube recognize that my videos are relevant for you and always hit that bell if you are subscribed and want to be notified when I next upload. Today I'm talking about the Dyson Supersonic, reasons why I purchased this, an unboxing to show you what is in the product and also I wanna talk about how I got 30% off this product, a brand new unit, if you you are in the UK then this hopefully will be relevant to you in order to save some money on this brand new unit nothing shady or anything like that I got this from a reputable company and so I wanted to talk a little bit more about that and just share that insight for you if you are looking to buy the product but are very aware that it's a very expensive model and looking to save a bit of money where you can I will have all of the timestamps of this video down below so if you want to just skip to the unboxing you can do however if like me you want to save a bit of money and want to understand how I did so then be sure to keep watching all of the video because I'm going to talk all about that to start with and then showcase what's inside the box talk about why I decided to buy it and then in a separate video I'm going to demonstrate it talk to you about how it's different to the hairdryer that I have and kind of give a more of a summarized review in terms of the attachments in use today I'm going to talk about why I got the unit what's within the box why I decided to buy it in case that's helpful for anyone that is basically researching the product trying to understand if it's relevant for them and if what they imagine the product will give them is the case. So I hope that this video is helpful, but with that all said and done, let's dive straight into it. share is how I saved 30% off off of this unit so I bought this from Very which is a UK company that you can buy so many reputable brands on including Dyson so Very give you the option if you are a brand new customer and make an account with them you can get 20% off any credit purchase now I know that that is not for everyone and I certainly don't recommend it if you have credit difficulty or things like buying a house I certainly wouldn't have done this a year ago when I was in that process of buying a house however you can pay off the product straight away so you don't actually have to get into credit with this unit it's just a way of basically saving that money because you're setting up that account and that's exactly what I did so I set up a very account and therefore got 20% off my purchase via very off of this unit which of course this unit is very expensive I think it's 329.99 so to get 20% off of that makes a very big difference in terms of the justification of the price honestly and then I got a further 10% cash back when I used top cashback so I'm sure that so many of you are familiar with that site you've heard about it I'll have a link down below if you haven't yet set up an account you can do so it's an affiliated link so you certainly don't have to use that you can just google them I think through my link you get five pound to start off with but certainly don't have to to do that and there you can basically get cash back on so many brands that you may shop with ordinarily online so at the time of purchasing very had a 10% cash back scheme via top cash back so not only did I save 20% off by purchasing directly through very setting up an account with them I then also got 10% back through top cash back and so all in all you can understand there that that has taken off quite a big chunk of this product that otherwise was a lot more expensive again I still paid a lot more than a standard hair dryer but 30% off is a big saving and so I really wanted to share that again I know it's not relevant for everyone but if you can save some money and my tips help you do the same then I really hope it's helpful I also think buying through very with that discount it's very similar to buying a refurbished unit which I personally prefer to buy new just because you know there's been no problems with it you don't necessarily know the back history of a refurbished unit whether there was a fault and it was rectified things like that just make me a little bit anxious however that is also a great way to save money on a product if you go on eBay and search Dyson underscore outlet you can actually buy from Dyson themselves and buy refurbished units which include air wraps these and also the hoovers and the fans and everything like that however this unit was brand new and I managed to save that price the other reason I decided to buy it through very over any other retailer was because you could buy a four-year insurance for 20 pounds I thought that was a really really great price for peace of mind and 
The insurance company that this is with is actually the same one that I have with the camera I'm filming on today. And when I had camera difficulties, it was very, very easy to make a claim and they fix the issue that I was experiencing. And it also covers accidental damage from day one. I love the research I did around the Dyson Supersonic is where people may have shared feedback that after their one year manufacture warranty ran out, they then experienced some problems with the unit or that there wasn't that longevity that you'd expect after spending such a large amount of money on one product and if it was outside of the manufacturer's warranty it's very difficult to get anywhere without having to pay the price of a repair. So for me that was truly valuable in terms of knowing that from day one I'm insured on this product so even when my manufacturer warranty runs out I had that extended warranty with Very, and it's a two day like repair or replacement guarantee so for me that was just a bit of backstory in terms of where I bought the unit from but all of those things considered I I felt like I got it for a really great price and I've got some great peace of mind in terms of knowing that within that four years if anything happens I'm covered however let's dive into the unboxing because I'm sure that so many of you are curious about what's within the box and if like me you watch every single supersonic video online I just loved immersing myself in people opening the product and sharing their kind of first impressions by opening it and like I said in the intro I'll be following this up on specific videos in terms of it in use how it compares for example the noise between the Dyson and my old hair dryer and all those types of things so if you have any questions or anything you want me to mention specifically going forward leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to do a video whether about that or include that in a future video too so I decided to go with the fuchsia and nickel I believe that this one is I was really stuck between this one and the black one I really couldn't decide but I decided to go with this one because I just felt like it was more iconic to Dyson and I love this kind of nickel color and I just love the pop of pink. So when push came to shove, I decided this one, but I could have gone either. I've really liked the black one and I've coveted that for a really long time. And so it was a really hard decision, but I did end up going for this one. I have a future video where I talk about the Lux Air Pro in a black edition, which I don't want to upload yet because I've recently uploaded a video about their styler. But in that video, that was filmed before this one. And so I talk about coveting the black and nickel supersonic. So ignore that if you watch that video so within the box you get a sleeve that has more about the technology the attachments and this is one that includes the new flyaway attachment which is something I'm so excited to use it feels like unboxing an iPhone with this box so you get your manuals and you also get your warranty whereby you have to register your Dyson on the Dyson website so that manufacturer guarantee can begin so this here is the styler and so I said I just love this color I love this kind of nickely color I think it looks so luxurious and I just love the pop of pink it was such a hard decision. This is the plug, so it's a really, really long cable, which is perfect for me. I even love the design of the actual plug unit itself because it's round, it just looks and feels very, very stylish. The other complaint I saw in quite a lot of videos, as I mentioned, I watched lots and lots, is that in America, they come with a bit of a box in terms of like electrical transmission. I'm not sure what that is for specifically, but in the UK, you don't have that. So if that is something that you've seen in videos and you think, oh, that will be troublesome, then don't worry about that. If you are based in the UK and the unit itself I have to say from a first impressions point of view feels considerably lighter than the one that I've been using before so the one I have had before you may have seen it in previous videos if you are a subscriber is the Tony and Guy it was probably about 20 to 30 pounds and I've had that for probably about five six years it's a very trustworthy hair dryer but I felt like for me it was time to upgrade because I dry my hair often um every time i wash my hair i tend to dry my hair with a hair dryer i use hair dryers a lot in my videos and i wanted something that would a speed up the process and just feel like a better experience i love hair care i love immersing myself in that experience and so for me this just was something that i had coveted in order to accelerate that experience of drying my hair I was speaking with a few friends where I was talking about, you know, considering buying this styler and they were saying, is drying your hair that deep? And I think for anyone that isn't, then no, but for me, it really is. You know, I love hair care. I love documenting that on my channel, but I also take that away from me personally. And I just 
absolutely love drying my hair it's an experience that I really enjoy and so for me it was kind of something that I do regularly and I'm just looking for a new product that fit that category now I have the Lux Pro Air Styler which is essentially like the air up which has a hair dryer attachment and so whilst that dries my hair very very well this is even better than the air up so if you're looking at something that's going to dry your hair and provide that blow dry experience that's super quick then this is where the supersonic comes in so I know that the wattage and all of that type of information is a lot stronger in this specifically than the air wrap but of course the air wrap you get all the different attachments and that might be more suited to you i had the air wrap i sent it back i was really disappointed specifically how the curls lasted so if you are interested in the air wrap but don't want to spend that price then definitely check out the lux air pro styler for me that is an exceptional dupe if that's the right word to call it but i feel like i get better results with that this for me was something that I just wanted a really, really good hair dryer. I wanted something that was super quick, that would make my hair feel really good. All of these attachments promise so much in terms of the way that my hair will look. And my hair dryer that I have at the moment has zero attachments. I probably threw them away back in the day when I thought they just take up storage space. So I was really looking forward to having that. And I'm gonna talk about those attachments specifically now. So within the box, you get five separate attachments. So this one here is a style concentrator and probably one I can envision using the most with myself and this hair dryer. I'm sure if like me, you've watched tons of these videos and you know that they attach magnetically which I think just provides again that really seamless professional experience it feels super luxurious as you do that but it's also super super strong and this is going nowhere when you're styling your hair so if you have a hair dryer whereby an attachment like this slots on and you find that it comes off easily you're not going to have that problem with this you really have to give it a bit of a yank to get that off so next up you have a wide tooth comb attachment I believe this and the flyaway one are the most recent releases for this specific styler and this is incredible if you have afro very curly coily hair you can hair dry your hair while smoothing and stretching it out to provide more of a straight finish that is obviously just pulling your curls out a little bit this can also be used for hair types like mine as you're blow drying you can actually brush through your hair as you're styling like this probably not something i would typically use because i would feel more comfortable using a paddle brush and perhaps a style concentrator to actually achieve that blow dry finish this essentially has multiple uses is depending on your hair type and texture so I love that I love the fact that this attachment exists for those with that style of hair and I also think that if you have curly hair as you can tell I don't but this kind of dryer I feel like enhances curls and is really made more for that type of hair than the air wrap itself so if you are um and ngaring and you have curly hair trust me you'll probably get more out of this styler than i will next up is the flyaway attachment and so again their newest release in terms of this styler and specifically why i really wanted to buy the new styling set as opposed to a refurbished one that only had a couple of the attachments now at time of filming you can purchase this separately from the dyson website however they have been just sold out for so long and so picking this up on its own is quite difficult at the moment this i believe retails for 30 pounds on its own if you already have the styler and this is specifically why the styler now is 329.99 to purchase instead of the original 300 pounds because it comes with this which essentially is a 30 pound attachment so this uses the koanda effect and you essentially can straighten your hair in this kind of way and it removes flyaways it means that your hair can be straightened almost and give that straight sleek finish without having to use a straightener so if you are someone that blow dries your hair and typically follows up with a straightener or styles in that way this essentially hopefully should combat the need of both of those tools preventing heat damage on that respect and this you actually use more so when your hair is dry to give a finishing result which i really like because it feels like there's that kind of drying then styling considerations and because I have straight hair which when I blow dry I'm not usually that specific I probably will be more with this tool but I love the fact that I can basically smooth out those flyaways at the end result and just get something that looks a lot more sleek and just put together than if I hadn't have had this so this is definitely going to be a very welcome attachment in my routine and something I know I'm going to get so much use out of and I'll probably get in the habit of using every time I blow dry with this tool the next attachment is the gentle air attachment so essentially you clip this onto the front of the styler as per the others again magnetic and this basically releases more of a gentle airflow so compared to having no attachment at all it's a little bit more kind of wild in terms of the airflow it's a very strong airflow but there's very little 
crystal specific direction, which is why these attachments come into play. This essentially concentrates that airflow slightly. It just means you can rough dry your hair with less kind of blast. And therefore I find that this just feels so much kinder on my hair. And I also think as well, if you have kids and you dry their hair, this is an attachment that you will use tons. And I just think it's such a great idea for a product in order to just diffuse the airflow slightly. Regardless of how strong you have the airflow on this, it just kind of sets it back a little bit in terms of that projection of air. So again, for me, when I rough dry my hair, I'm in a bit of a rush in terms of like, I just need to get this dry. This will come into its own again for sure. And then it might be that I use that initially and then I go in with this styler and use a paddle brush. It might be then I go in with the flyaway attachment. Already I can see how versatile this tool is going to be in my collection. And last but not least, I have to mention the diffuser attachment. So as I've mentioned already, if you have curly hair, I have seen amazing reviews about this diffuser attachment on this and providing the most gorgeous finish for those that have naturally curly hair. And now before Christmas, I was basically playing around with my hair texture. My daughter has really, really curly hair. And we've never known where she's got that from because neither me or my partner have curly hair. It's really, really strange. And so before Christmas, I was having a little play around with my hair. I'm always researching hair techniques and understanding how people style their hair. And I came across one of those videos and I think it was a massive trend a few months ago where it was like, you might have curly hair and not know it. And when I decided to wash my hair, I decided to try the plopping action and my hair actually had waves to it. However, it's something that I've never really considered. I know when I was younger, I used to put a mousse in my hair, scrunch it up and have curls. But only until that moment watching those TikToks did I remember that. And so I'm definitely going to go on a bit of a hair journey myself in terms of getting the right products, the right tools and giving this a try to see if I can restore any of my natural waves. I think that that will be a journey in itself and kind of a process, but I feel like having this tool, I can try those scrunching techniques. I can see if there's a way, if I have natural curls underneath what I feel like is very, very straight hair, how can I enhance those more? And what kind of tools and techniques and products can I use if they do exist? How do I bring them forward? So that's gonna be something that perhaps I might share on my channel. I definitely wanna take that kind of off camera whilst I figure out what's right for me because I know I don't wanna kind of like do too much, but when I get that, I'll definitely share that routine and if it ever does kind of materialize. But I'm really excited to just basically play around with this. And as I mentioned, my daughter does have curly hair. So even if I don't don't get use out of this product as I'm kind of hoping then she definitely will and she has honestly like the beautiful most ringlet curls which is why we've both been like where has she got them from because neither of us have that hair type so yeah I'm kind of really excited to try that and that's going to definitely be a learning phase I encounter and start with but I have to say from initial use and just trying the hair dry in terms of plugging it in this is significantly quieter, it dries my hair quicker. All of the things I feel like the Dyson promised me, I was a bit worried about being a little bit too tied up in the expectation of a product. And then when it arrived, feeling a little bit let down because I built myself up to a standard that perhaps even Dyson couldn't have reached. But honestly, the moment I just plugged this in and like gave it a little go and just wanted to see what it was like, I was truly blown away. Everything, honestly, the whole experience, the fact that it feels so light, the fact that all of the things that so many other videos mention in terms of the motor being here and not up here, it's just all of that that is being considered that I feel like I will get so much incredible use out of and I am just so excited to be using this more, sharing it more on my channel and getting myself used to these attachments. I've had a hair dryer in its own form with no attachments for a really long time that I'm really excited to start this and I'm 1000% keeping this. I, as I mentioned, sent back my air wrap so that kind of really underwhelmed me and never gave me the results I was expecting whereas this already I am absolutely loving and I can't wait to just dive more into it, try it more, share those thoughts and feelings with you all. And of course, if you're considering this product, let me know your questions because I definitely read almost every review, watched every video. I was that person in terms of researching. So I'm happy to be that resource for you. So if you have a question, let me know. If there's anything you're wondering or want to ask someone that now owns the unit after having that process of research like you might be, then please do just drop me a message or comment down below. My socials are down below too, so you can reach out to me there. I'm absolutely more than happy to help. But I have to say already, I'm so impressed from a first impressions point of view. 
I absolutely love this and I can't wait to continue using it. So if you are considering it, I really don't think you'd regret it. I absolutely love it so, so much. I will be doing more videos on this as I've mentioned, so if there's anything specific you'd like to see then let me know. But that's all for me in today's video, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of unboxing first impressions and definitely ways to save money. Let me know if it has helped you because I love hearing your feedback and I will see you guys in my next video.